Hello friends, uh, uh, this is Ashton here. So in today's app script project here, uh, number 92, we're going to solve a problem. Uh, so basically, let's say if you want to send a Google task to someone uh, else in your company or in your organization. Uh, so that's a problem we're trying to solve today. So normally, uh, if you in a script, if you want to create a task, uh, we can do it, uh, we can create a task with app script, but the task can only be created for your uh, task list here. But what if I want to create a task and uh, create this task in the users, let's say here I have two users, uh, I have test email account here, uh, let's say I'd like to create a task for this user and I'd like to create a task in this user's uh, task list. So what we can do here. So this is a problem we're trying to solve today. So uh, let me do a test here first. Uh, so for the title, it's going to be something you want to, uh, so basically there's a, there's a title for the task, okay? Normally if you add a task manually, you're going to have a title and the details is going to be the notes, okay? And the due date is going to be the time, all right? So let's try to maybe just keep Google Talk a Google Task a Title 1 and a Notes 1, and this is the date. And here is going to be the, the name of the task list. So you, you can have a multiple task list. So this is going to be the task list. Uh, you can change it. So this is by default, it's called GTasks. And uh, you need to have this checked, okay, uh, to send it. So here, if I try to run this function, it's going to send, it's going to create a task with this information and for this in this user's uh, task. So uh, I logged in uh, with this account in uh, another browser. So I'm using Firefox for this account, as you can see here. So right now, this is my test account here. And we have this task created, right, for this user. So maybe let me try to run to run another test. So let's assign this to, so this is task two, okay. So make sure this is checked and run. Okay, so now it's done. And if I go back to Firefox, and now we have task two created. Uh, as you can see, which this is sent from, uh, from uh, this account, right? I'm using this account, this is my primary account, and send a test, uh, send this task to this test account. And I'd like to send it back. So I send it, send a task from my test count to my primary count. So this is task three, okay, just for testing. And now if I try to run the script, okay, so now it's successful. And if I go back to Chrome, so now it's Chrome, and I have title three, so that's task three, which is sent from my test account. Okay, so basically that's the problem we're trying to solve today. And you can add more accounts uh, if you want to, the users want to. Basically, maybe in your organization you have 10 people or more. So you need to, you can use this tool to have them connected to each other. And uh, you have an app like this. And uh, everybody, so they first need to connect to this app. And after they connected to this app, so all the connected user, they can basically send this kind of task to each other. Okay, so that's the that's the project. This that's that's the problem we are trying to solve today in this project. And uh, I'm going to show you how to set it up and uh, step by step. All right, so let's do it. So to set it up is going to be very very easy to do. Okay, so I'm going to share this project with you so you can make a copy uh, let me close this one and uh, i'd like to make a copy so i can close my original one and uh, the copy of copy of a link should be like this all right so make first of all you need to make a copy of the project to your google drive and after that that's that's all you had here and uh we should have a menu here. 
If you don't like the menu, um, I think you can do some change. Uh, maybe later in the script, I'd, I'd like to show you where to change it. Okay. Okay, so now we have this task. And before we try to run this function here, I'd like to basically, uh, you can run this, create uh, any of these functions. Okay, so basically, just for the authorization, and select your account, advanced, and allow all of this access. Okay, now it's the, the authorization process is done. And uh, first of all, we need to connect to this application. So right now, you are the owner, but you still need to connect. So let's try to connect this uh, application. So are you sure to connect your account? So this is going to be your account. And yes. So now it's done. Okay, connect it. And you also can disconnect it. So after the connection, as you can see, the, this uh, drop-down list has been updated. So every time if we have a new user updated or connected or disconnected, this uh, drop-down list will be updated automatically. So if we have a new user, the new user will be going to be added to this drop-down list. So you can select uh, any, uh, the user you want to send this task to. Okay? So because right now we only have one user, so that's why this is not, right now is invalid. Uh, so you need to send, you need to share this file with the users. You, they want to, they also need to connect to this application. So you need to share. So I, I, let me share this to my account as an editor. Okay. So you can notify it or you can. So let me send it to my test account. And then I can go to my test account. So for my so Firefox, um, I have another account, okay? So right now I'm in this account. And for the new user, they need to, uh, first of all, you need to share the file uh, for this user. So if I check the access for this file, so as you can see, uh, this is owner and this is editor. So uh, the users uh, needs the access to this file, okay? So here, uh, once the user have the access to this file, the user has to connect to this application as well. So they click on connect and complete the authorization process for the first time, okay? Advanced. Complete this process. This is just to uh, complete the process for the authorization, but actually the application is not connected. As you can see here, this email address is still invalid. So if I try to do the connect again, it should ask you for the confirmation. Okay, so now it's connected. And as you can see, the data validation now is gone. So the invalid message is gone. So that means we now have two users so which we can we can send uh, a task to these users so uh, and you also can create a template it's basically it's going to generate three uh, generate the three line of uh, tasks example here so you can play with it uh, so let me open this task so let me mark this as done so we can run some tests Let's go back to Chrome. Let's open this task. Mark this done. Okay, so we can test with this new. So this is a new setup. This is a brand new setup. So we have another spreadsheet. So we can run some tests. So first of all, this is my test account. As you can see, so I'd like to send a task to my primary account here. Uh, so fit cats maybe this is a task tomorrow okay so don't forget the notes uh, and uh, 
if you want to set a date, let's say tomorrow, okay? And if you want to create a new task for the maybe cat task, uh, cat list, cat to do, or something like that. Cat to do's. So title, notes, or description, due day, and cat. And, mar and make sure this is, is uh, marked. If this is not checked, uh, this line of code we're going to be ignored. So let us let me ignore these two lines for now. And I try to send the task. So success, timestamp, int. If I go to Chrome, I should have a cat to do, right? And uh, this is the message, fit cats. Don't forget, and uh, this is for my test account, and uh, due date is tomorrow. Okay, so that means this is not working. So let's send back mm, what to do tomorrow. Uh, car wash. Uh, ring your mini to wash. And let's say due day, maybe, I don't know. Uh, so, car to do is something like that. And I can delete this line of uh, test. So, this is basically there for test. So, so, right now I'm sending from my primary account to my test account, right? So, let's try to run it. So, is sent successfully and this checkbox is unchecked so that means next time if you try to run it it's empty uh, this uh, this rows with this are uh, sent column unchecked we're going to be ignored so this is like a record so if I check if I go back to Firefox and check my task list I should have a car to do's and car wash bring your mini to wash and this is a date Right, Tuesday, things like that. So this is a setup. So you can share it with more people if you want. And make sure you trust them, okay? <laughs> and make sure the people uh, they want to use this in your organization. And I don't suggest you share it with other people, maybe they if you don't want them to access your data. So that's basically for a small organization. They want to basically share their, they're actually not shared or, or okay, uh, they're shared here, but they're not actually shared in this task list. So this task list is only can be seen by yourself, okay. The other people, even you connect it here, they cannot see your task list, okay. They only can see the task you, all of the users they created here because they have access to your file, to this, to this file. All of them have access to this file. So make sure uh, you share it with the people you trust, okay? So that's, that's all about the setup. And uh, if you want to change the name here, like the menu, uh, you need to change it in this script. So let me open the app script, the project here. So you can do some change here. So here, uh, as you can see, this is name you can change. This name is also use it for the menu. And uh, this is going to be our template setup. Uh, when we create the template, it's going to create uh, three rows of data. Uh, and all of this data, they're set up like this, OK? This is the setup. And uh, this is the tab name for the application. So maybe you can you need to change it to something task or something like that. If you change this tab name, make sure this name is updated as well. So don't update this. You need to update this value, okay, in these quotes. And this don't change this line of code. Uh, this is this is use it to refresh the token every ten minutes, okay? Because the token uh, basically the this kind of uh, solution, which is possible to do, that is because we are using the user's token to create a task for their account. Okay, so that's why we need to have a token 
uh, so every time we send we send uh, a task to this user which is not yourself right so you you we need the users this account a token for this account to create the task for this user okay so that's why we need to get the token for the user and uh, we basically let me show you where you can find the token uh, it's in the project settings so if you go to the project settings you will see here now so every time when a user is connected to uh, this application uh, we're going to save the user's token uh, to this project so that's where it's very important information don't share this with other people okay so that's why this is very important information uh, uh, this is basically the solution uh, I have here so this is the core part for this solution uh, maybe it's not that safe so that's why I I suggest you only share this with uh, the people you trust okay don't share it with other people you don't trust it's going to I don't see very, very not not that safe okay because they all can see these tokens okay because we need to have this token to create the task uh, because if I want to create a task for this account I need to use this token okay or or I, I cannot create the task uh, in uh, this account's task list so this is the solution here not a perfect solution but uh, that's right now what I can I can find here okay not perfect but uh, for a small group uh, if you trust each other I think should be fine okay so and this token uh, we are going to be uh, invalid maybe after 10 minutes that's why we need to refresh this token every 10 minutes or something like that so to make sure the, the token is always valid if you want to send if you want to send a task to uh, other people so that's about that's about the token stuff here and you also can disconnect if you found something uh, is not going well and if you don't want to use this uh, account uh, application anymore so you basically can disconnect if I want to disconnect yes I disconnect it uh, for this application and uh, I don't have this uh, users in this drop-down list anymore okay connect okay it's, now it's connected and I have this email address here uh, as you can see and of course you can send it to yourself okay so right now here is my email so if I try to send uh, try to run I should send uh, the first and the, the third to myself okay so if I go to first and third so now it's done uh, I think that's it for this today's project okay so if you're if you're looking uh, something similar like this and uh, you can try to use it okay and I think this kind of uh, solution can can be used uh, for similar situations like if you want to create a calendar or create an event in somebody else calendar uh, so just a similar things like this so that could be a solution for you okay so you can use the similar idea and to create a event in other people's calendar okay so basically they need to connect to this application and uh, you have other people's token saved uh, in this application and uh, you can create event or meetings uh, in somebody else's calendar so this is just uh, not a perfect solution but uh, basically a workaround for some kind of problems here in our daily life okay so i think that's it for today's video and thank you for your time and uh, see you next time bye bye as they were a year ago but i'll be okay i move on each and every day the past is where it stays